Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one we're going to be taking a look at the reworked Charlotte Flair. And we're going to start off pretty basic and get pretty not basic. And I think you're going to be shocked with the end result. Um, I'm going to save commenting on that though until we're done with the whole thing. I know I'm shocked. So um, of note, this does have all three of her gears. Yellow gems do 75% more damage. Multiply gems strength by two. All color moves start with three more MP. This is going to be all feud builds. And we're going to start off with less rare stuff. And the build I probably would run with that. And then we're going to gradually move to more rare. And by the end, we're going to have more rare stuff and plates. But I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different things so you can have an idea how she ends up on your roster. Keep in mind, this is with full stars and it is with the gear. Also, I have no tour perks on the CC account here, so this is going to be feud builds. Um, so let's start off. These are the three moves we're going to use for everything, but how we play them will differ. Uh, 1 MP natural selection. This is the reworked move, one of the two. 40k damage, make 28 random gems, multiply gems of strength 3. Overhead belly to belly, suplex, 5 MP yellow, destroy 28 random multiply gems, and then that's also reworked, 137k damage. And then the figure eight, this one has been there all the time. It's just a 10 MP sub, um, play six sub gems, 23k damage for four turns, remaining turn into multiply gems of strength two. Nothing amazing on the sub, but it's just there to kind of slow them down if you don't have enough to start. You'll see what I mean by enough to start. So Kofi, uh, Braun gives two yellow MP and one more multiply. Uh, so that gets you loaded with the sub turn one and gives an extra multiply. Braun for yellow gem damage, and then Zombie Gunther uh, for multiply and blue gem damage. Like I said, so if you don't have maybe crazy stuff, that's where you want to probably start to drain their MP. This is only a 20% strap. It is max Fury 2, um, and there, there of course will be plates that would help this build. This build I'm not going to add plates to um, because the top end isn't really there. And as you get more rare plates, I think you're going to have more of the other rare stuff to build her. Anyway, uh, your sub will start out filled, so you're just going to hit that. And you want to place it on yellows because they're her best damage. Uh, unless they're clearly matches, then you could go black, blue, anything like that. So you're just draining the MP. This is not big damage or anything like that. It's just, it's really not important. It's just to get them drained so you can hit this move. Of course, Rhonda's jacket would help this <clears throat> for a regular plate. And you're going to see, though, it does pretty solid damage. But you're probably not going to win in one turn. 5 million damage, that's 10 million at 6 star. Um, not that crazy, but you do have the drain um, to drain their MP. Which is the important thing, so you're going to win on your second turn, most likely. You could hit the sub here if you were worried about winning. Uh, I'm not. I know we're going to probably hit for like 5 million again, and that uh, should easily keep her down. Uh, of course, you never say that, because uh, then they kick out. Looking at you, Southside, whenever I call my shot, right? But you could have hit the sub again there. And now you just finish it off. Not that impressive, but not terrible, right? Well, it's going to get impressive, in my opinion. Let's We'll see what you guys think. Okay, here comes the fun stuff now that we're out of this match. This is going to be all two-click uh, builds. So you're just going to click two buttons. Uh, the sub is going to stay there just in case you need to get bailed out for some reason. And we're just going to change the trainers and quit using the sub turn one. Because that's going to allow us to put a multiply gem trainer on the entourage. In this case, we're going to use Matt because he's more common. We're going to use Braun for yellow and still keep Gunther. And we're just going for two clicks here. So obviously this would be insanely fast. Let's see how hard it hits. It's 
seven million. Well, it's six eight reduced. Not bad. That ends up being almost fourteen million at silver, and it's super fast. So this one, like, you're guaranteed basically to cycle win, and that's with no plates yet. And let's just hit it again so we can see if that's kind of consistent, if that 7 million range is. A little more loot boxes, 6.2. So 6.2 and 6.8. That's pretty common from the testing I did really fast. Now, what if you have some more rare stuff? So what if, and again, 20% strap. What if you have Sherry and Memrock? What does that look like? After this, we're going to go back through these two builds with plates. And finally, um, we will add a 50% gem damage strap. And I think you're going to be surprised where this hits. So this is just adding Sherry and Memrock. So where our multiplied gems are now going to be times 10. At 28 of them. So that's destroying 280 gems uh, in essence. And it's obviously super fast. That's That was 10 million. Reduced to 8.9 million. Uh, with two clicks and no plates. That was a pretty good board. There will be variants. So I'm going to run that one one more time. Because ten over 10 million is pretty dang good for two clicks. Um, that's 20 million at 6 star silver. Incredibly fast. Here we go again. Not as many yellows on the board here. So let's see how this one looks. A few blues. So that was 8-7. That's more common, I would say. The the 8-5 uh, to 9 million range is, was more common with that setup for me. Still, though, not bad with no plates yet. Okay, so now we are going to add one plate. An ultimate that currently is available on the prize wall and not uh, very expensive. If your faction got four four milestones deep into the tokens, you can get this one. Um, so I believe 13 factions have maxed, which gets you enough to get four different ones of these plates at this, at this time. So I don't know how many have got to four, but there's thousands of people anyway that should uh, have the option to grab this plate. Um, and it is the... It's one of the rocky uh, generate plates. Helps if you're in the right one. And it is the break black, get yellow. <laughs> the immovable object. Whenever you break four black gems, generate ten random yellows. Just to get more of yellow, which is her primary color on the board. So this is the first plate. And I'll try this with the, both the, the less rare trainers and the rare trainers, so you guys have an idea. A lot of yellows on the board here. This is a nice looking board. Also, you want four black gems as well, uh, which we have. So that ultimate is definitely going to proc. So we're going to get some extra yellows. But we didn't break any. So that was 10 million reduced to eight. So in that case, the ultimate didn't do any good, but it was a nice board. Um, so I'm fine with that. Kind of made up for the ultimate not breaking anything which will happen sometimes. All right, let's check the normal one. More, more normal trainers than what's on this one with the ultimate. And we're gonna go with another plate after this plate, a uh, regular plate to add to it. I'm sure a lot of you already know which plate I'm gonna be using. Oops, that's the wrong loadout, my bad. And so back to Matt, I should probably, um, yeah, we got it changed on the graphic, yep. Again, this is a 20% strap with just the ultimate um, that's on the on the prize wall that is up right now for four of the emblems. This one, we have the black gems, a lot of yellows on the board. This should be pretty nice. A few extra, 7.5 million with that. Okay. So what else can we add? We can add the Nightmare Plate. So if you also have the Nightmare Plate, again, keep in mind, this is only a 20% strap. Uh, on the Merrick's account, um, my main one, 
I have a 50% gem damage strap available for her. Uh, the Regal event, if you got some of those straps, are genderless uh, reality era. So it's very possible you have a good gem damage strap for her. A 40, 50, or on 100 is not unlikely. Um, on this one, you could also use a plate like Shock the System uh, as well um, in the primary. So let's say you don't have a Cody plate, you could use Shock the System. But if you have a Nightmare Plate, whenever you make six or more Multiply Gems, it increases those yellows by 100% for one turn. And since we're also indexing yellows here, um, let's see what this looks like. Great board again, plenty of black and yellow gems, just what we want to see. Only broke three extra, but that brought it to eight million um, with the less rare trainers, which would be basically 16 million at silver. Uh, and Lady Showboats, if you know anything about them, unless you have Jade, that's a actually really big number. And it's two clicks, super fast. And it's Merrick's proof, you can't cascade. So let's go back to the rare ones. Just change the strap here for funsies. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's covered up a little bit. That's fine. I don't, it's no big deal. Not as good of board, um, but lots of blues, which isn't bad either because of Gunther. So I'll call it a so a solid board actually. Nice cascade. And that's 11 million. Uh, so you're basically looking 22 million at silver. And super fast. Uh, two click, 22 million uh, feuding lady. And that's again without a feud bonus. Uh, pretty good. Let me run that one more time before we change straps because it's so fast. Again, this is gem damage based. So this one, we only got three black gems, so the ultimate will not proc. However, the yellows are buffed. Um, but yeah, this is a gem damage build, so you will absolutely want full stars, max levels. We still hit for 10.6 million gem damage, even missing the ultimate proc. Okay, uh, let's go to a 50% strap. And I'll show that without the plates, one run only on each of them, in case you have a 50% strap. Um, actually, I'll show it with just the ultimate, um, in case you don't have a Cody plate. In fact, you know what? I'll do one better than that. I, I know exactly how I want to run this one. Uh, where's a 50 strap? Who do I have a 50 on? You got a 50? You got a 50. Okay. I'm very impressed um, with this build. I uh, also shout out to um, Destroyer DOA because uh, he's like, man, you really should, um, you really should, you should do this. And I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd mess with her a little bit um, in between working on um, CM Punk. And I'm like, it's pretty good, but I hadn't really put a lot of effort into it, you know? And he's like, I think you should do it. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll mess with it more. And we were talking about it, and this is where we ended up. So shout out to him. Thanks for the nudge, dude. And the conversation around it. I really appreciate that, Destroyer. Your move damage metal doesn't matter. Any Fury 2 is, is fine. Um, like, let's just use a multicolor, because I don't care. So yeah, the 50s I am going to run uh, with the Shock the System, because that's readily available, and also this um, this ultimate plate, right? So let's see what that ends up looking like. 
because I has a curious. And we'll just start out with the one we... Oh, don't, don't level stuff up. The one we had equipped um, with just the rare trainers. I love how fast this is and the fact that it can't cascade. Um, I don't have any of her gears yet on Merrick's account. This is definitely going to make me go after them, though. Because this two-click stuff... Because I didn't get Jade. If I got Jade, I don't think I'd probably worry about it. Although it's so fast. And there you go. That's 10.9 million with those two plates. And I think that's fairly normal that people will have those. So I should probably turn this picture off. Uh, the straps off. Uh, there we go. Since that's what we ran there. Um, with a 50 strap. And the two plates. So let's see the less rare trainers. And then we'll just pop the, the Cody plate on and run those once each. Uh, uh, uh. And of course, you can mix and match the trainers based on what you have. If you're wondering, too, this would absolutely work. Why I haven't done it. Um, the Santa Hogan on this account is huge, so it would skew the numbers. Uh, but you could easily run Sherry, Matt, and Santa Hogan in this place. 17k. If I had a 17k, I would run that and show you guys. So if you don't have Memrock, you can go that route. But the Santa Hogan on this account is the monster one, and that would skew the, the multiply numbers a lot. Um, in fact, that probably is the best build. Sherry, Matt, 17k Santa, and Zombie Gunther. But I'm not going to show that because, like I said, it'll, it'll skew it. Uh, maybe at the end I'll run one with it, just so you guys can see, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but just know that the Santa is going to really skew it but for those of you that have a big santa you'll be like oh you can see the plates missed there so we didn't really get anything extra um, but you can still saw how hard it hit. So, okay, let's do the Cody plate once each, and then I will show you the setup with the Santa, with the Santa. Oops, I also forgot to switch that screen because I'm doing, I'm doing a lot at once here. A ton on a small brain. Uh, but now we're going back to this one anyway. <laughs> No, we're not. We're putting the Cody plate on. We already did that. <laughs> there you go. It's not still on, is it? It is. Oops. Need removal currency. Boom. Sorry guys, in here. Okay, there we go. In use, Cody plate, boom. So Cody plate, 50% strap, and the um, the movable object ultimate now. We did miss the immovable object proc, and there's not a ton of yellow here. So this will probably be fairly disappointing. Yeah, that was about as bad as a board as you're going to get. That was 6.2 mil, um, so we didn't win it. Missed the um, immovable object. A few more yellows, and, and we do have the plate proc now, so... So, so when when you get a not great cooperating board it's certainly not as good let's go back here now 
And that's where the more rare trainers definitely come in uh, clutch. It helps out that spread um, a lot more. Your low end is a lot more forgiving. Oops. Set. Okay, so 50% strap, nightmare plate, <clears throat> rare trainers, immovable object ultimate. Plenty of black gems, decent amount of yellow gems. This one should be good. Oh yeah, that's a cascade. That's 13 million. So that would be 26 million at silver. That was a pretty good cascade and stuff. So I'm going to hit that one one more time for you guys. This video went longer than I intended, but you know... It is what it is. I think it's worth it in this case because she is impressive. You also, um, you could use any of the plates that buff other colors for multiply. So you could use a Queen's Tiara. It would buff the black gems by 50%. You could use a Pyro Princess, it would bluff the blue gems. So there are other options, it's just yellow is your best color. So it's the one that makes sense. That was 11.3 million. Okay, uh, let me show you the other build with 17k Santa that's possible. But again, remember the numbers are going to be skewed on this because we have an Uber Santa on this account. But that way you can at least see it. I'm going to turn the graphic off for this now. Previous setup from on. So all the gems are doing 12k. Um, the one on Merrick's account is 3,450, 3, and a lot of you are going to have 2,200 Santas. So that's why I wanted to avoid it, because uh, this is going to skew the numbers a little bit. But the better your Santa is, the better this build is going to be. And this would be the way to run it. Because he's all color gems. So this I anticipate to hit ridiculously hard. Yeah, that's 15 million with a 50% strap. So 30 million at six star silver, two clicks uh, with the crazy Santa. Um, obviously, it'd be less without the crazy Santa, but that's that's your ticket for the build, actually. Um, so depending on what you have, uh, I could go 100% strap as well, but I don't think I need to. I think you guys have seen uh, what she can do, how good she can be. And at two clicks with that speed, I tell you what, honestly, if I had a big boy Santa like that and a, or a hundred strap, um, I don't think I would hesitate to actually, I can't believe I'm going to say this, to make her my top lady showboat, even over Jade, just because it's faster and just the two click win is, is ridiculous. So if you have the right stuff, this might be your girl. Uh, if not, uh, maybe you start working towards it. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's kind of crazy <clears throat> um, how she scales with this. Uh, and remember to like, subscribe, and share because that actually really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there. Oof. That's kind of crazy, huh?